Hello, loves. So I had somebody write and ask me how I was getting my henna to stay on the teapots and cups that I was uh, selling in my Etsy shop. And um, I thought I would do a quickie how-to because it's not henna. It's henna style painting, but it's paint for sure. So um, I thought I would just show you, I would do a quickie how-to for it and try to show you as much detail as I could. Um, you can see the paint has a little bit of texture to it, but it's really flat. It really, um, it does not dry, you know, 3D the way uh, henna would when you put it onto wood or canvas or something. So, can you see that? Um, the paints that I'm using for this are the Porcelain 150 pens. Um, so this is the fine tipped, and then they have um, a, a thick tip, you know, a, a bolder tipped one. And um, the pens to get the pens started, you're doing a shake of them. So shake them out like that. You'll hear that sound. Um, the thicker tipped ones usually start pretty quickly. Um, you'll see. I usually take a napkin, and um, so you'll see usually those start pretty fast. I don't, haven't had many problems with those. Um, the the uh, fine tipped ones, though, are a little harder to get started sometimes. So what I'm doing with it is I'm pressing it straight down. You'll see it kind of goes flat into there. And you hold it down until you see a paint flow like that. When you see the paint um, blotch come out with it pressed down flat, that means it's flowing up to the tip. And then it will usually start real quick. Um, save your receipts when you buy them. I have bought them before and ended up returning them um, because the tip was so clogged I couldn't get the paint to flow, or it was so loose that the paint would flow out um, and that you couldn't control the amount of it at all. So um, I thought I'd show you really quick how um, painting with them. It is best to paint, um, you want the pen to really be sort of flat up and down like that. So I'm turning my cup on its side or my you know teapot or whatever and I'm just painting in the same style that I showed you in the uh, one of the previous vlogs, um, henna style. So I'm doing a dot first and then I'm doing the U-shaped petals. When you're painting um, with the pen straight up and down like this, you get a really good flow of paint. That's one of the reasons to do it that way. Can you see that? Um, and I'm doing, um, you know, sort of the major part of the design with the thicker tipped pen first. And then I will switch to the fine tipped one. And again, you really for the fine tipped ones, you want to have it be straight up and down. And I'm just, you know, painting dots and lines, dots, lines, dots, and lines. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you in great detail because this video camera does not pick up a lot of great detail. But so I did some fine lines in the petals there. And so this pen is really good for doing um, in that henna style that I showed you the other night, a thick dot with the um, thick tipped brush and then going out to the dots to go out in for infinity. Using a fine tipped one to do that is a really good thing. So I'm finding my porcelain pieces at garage sales, fire sales, restaurant sales. Um, sometimes I can get, um, I'll, can hook up with a tea shop or something and they will wholesale um, a bunch of things for me and um, I'll paint them up and then they'll sell them in the shop. Um, that's always a fun kind of thing to do. Um, but look everywhere, you know, estate sales are great. Um, and then once you have your piece, I would wash it really well with a white vinegar and water. And then let it dry. Make sure you get it real dried off and clean. 
and then just paint directly on it. You need to let the paint dry for 24 hours. It needs to dry really well. And um, and then you want to put it in the oven the next day. Now the porcelain 150, the 150 is 100 de 150 degrees Celsius. That's what the um, that's what that means. Um, so you that's 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And so you want to put it in the oven. You want to bake it for about 35 minutes. It's extraordinarily stinky. Your kitchen will smell to high heaven. So make sure you have lots of ventilation for it. Um, the colors are supposed to be um, dishwasher resistant after you've baked it, um, but I am advising people to hand wash them um, in some of my test pieces with the heat turned on in the dishwasher, um, the hot water in the heat, and then also heat in the microwave. It really remelts the paint, and uh, so I'm advising people just to hand wash it, be careful with it, treat it like a piece of art. Drink out of it and everything. Use it. Go for it. Um, but the mouth soap and warm water is good enough to clean it without hurting it. So that's my quickie how-to for painting hen style on porcelain. So I hope you're inspired. Now go make art. That's what it's all about.